Hello, my name is Mary O'Dwyer, I'm an infection prevention and control nurse and I'm part of the infection prevention and control team here in the Midwest. So I am going to just do a short little um, talk on the use of masks and particularly in the misuse of masks because um, now that we're wearing masks more in public as, as well now in the healthcare settings we are seeing mistakes in their use. So first of all, you always have to have clean hands putting on your mask. So you do your hand hygiene for 20 seconds using hand sanitizer or washing your hands with soap and water and using a lather. So your hands need to be clean. And the second thing is your mask needs to be clean putting it on. And you have to remember that we're wearing these masks, first of all, to protect you and also to protect me. So we're wearing it as a, um, as a protection but it, nothing substitutes hand hygiene and social distancing. So my hands are now clean. I've done my 20 seconds of hand hygiene. So when you're putting on the mask, you put it on by not touching the front of it. There is a wire top to it, as you know, and I'm not doing a demonstration. The different mask uses are on the HPSC website. So I'm just showing you the do's and don'ts, more the don'ts really. So we put on the mask, we have clean hands putting on the masks. We haven't touched the front of it. It's come from a clean box and we put it on. This is a looped type, but they could be stringed so you put them on and we fit it so that it's under your chin and we have to seal it here so that it has a good seal around your nose and everyone's face is going to be different and it needs to be comfortable because if it's not comfortable you'll be pulling at it and moving it again so make it comfortable when you put it on and uh, the next thing you need to do because you've touched the mask is do your hand hygiene okay so your mask is in position now you do your hand hygiene again again with the hand sanitizer ideally that it's on you for your 20 seconds using friction covering all surfaces and now you don't touch the mask and these are the don'ts these are the don'ts that i see you don't do this this is not if this happens you take it off okay and you do your hand hygiene and put on a fresh one if this happens you take it off and you do your hand hygiene. If this happens, you take it off and you do your hand hygiene. And you can take it down like this and take a drink of water. You can take it down and answer the phone. It stays in position and you don't touch it. And they're the main things. You also, if you're coughing, if you have to cough and you have a mask on you, which can happen, I have seen this happen where someone coughs through the mask and they do this out of habit. Obviously, that's a big no-no, okay? So if you have to cough with the mask on, turn away and into the crook of the elbow again. And the masks are single use, so you don't touch it. Once it's on, it's in position and you don't touch it. And then when you want to take it off, you do your hand hygiene again for 20 seconds with the, with the hand sanitizer, friction again, hands are clean. Now you take it off and you take it off carefully and you put it into a bin. You don't put it down in a surface. You don't put it in your pocket. Um, so it's put away. So I'm going to pretend the bin is here again. And once I've done that, I do my hand hygiene again because I've touched it. Um, so I do my 20 second hand hygiene with my hand sanitizer and um, that's it. And I do that every time. Now I'm going to talk, just, uh, just show you probably what the cotton masks that are more common now that we see out and about. So if you're wearing them, it's the very same scenario. Once it's in position, you do not touch it, okay? They're washed after a use, you wash them. You can wash them at 60 degrees in the uh, washing machine and you don't store them in your pocket after use. They have to be stored appropriately before and after use so that they're clean going on and they have to be considered dirty coming off and you wash them. And um, as I said, it's, it, these are helpful for healthcare workers in particular with us um, who I'm speaking to now is that we are coming from healthcare settings where we will be meeting people and we also have to be aware that while we're out in public we could bring COVID back into the healthcare setting so even though these are not mandatory they probably are a good idea for us um, to wear in spaces such as supermarket or when we're going into areas where we can't maintain the two meter social distancing. So social distancing and hand hygiene will always take the first step. But this is a good um, idea on top of it when we as healthcare workers are out and about and we're moving between vulnerable people and out into um, our own private lives. Thank you. I hope that helps.